Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so the next video is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to be showing you how you can use your cell phone as a computer to uh, make the same changes that you would through a laptop, you know, using Betaflight, CleanFlight, iNav. Uh, this will keep you from having to bring a laptop into the field with you. You can use your cell phone instead. Now this does come at the expense of having to add in a Bluetooth module, but they're really not that big. Um, I don't use them on my like freestyling and racing builds but this is my GPS build and it does come in very handy. So this video I just wanted to talk about what module am I using, how do you connect it and set it up in clean flight, INAV, whatever. If you look in the description below I'll place some links to a few different websites where you can get this. Uh, this is the specific one that I'm using. Now you can get them cheaper than 10 bucks. Uh, like I said I'll leave you a bunch of different links so you can pick and choose whichever one you want. Uh, I'm just using this as a reference for the picture. You will only have four wires going to this thing. It's very simple. You have VCC, which will go to a 5 volt pin on your flight controller, ground, which will go to a ground pin, then you have TX and RX, which is transmit and receive. This is just going to go to a UART port. Just remember that the TX on the Bluetooth module does not go to a TX pin on a UART. It will actually go to a RX pin and the RX on the Bluetooth module will actually go to a TX pin on your UART port. Basically on your flight controller with the UARTs, the TX pin means that's transmitting data, but you want it, this Bluetooth module to receive that data, that's why you wire the TX pin to the RX pin and vice versa. And that's pretty much it as far as wiring. Now we need for it to receive data from the flight controller. So you just want to go into Betaflight, Clean Flight, iNav, whatever you were using. Uh, on this build I'm using iNav, so we will just go to ports and because I placed it on UART number one I will turn on the MSP for UART number one. If you placed it on UART two then turn the MSP on for UART number two and so on and so on. As always just a reminder if you do not see USB VCP then this means your flight controller uses the CP210X driver and if you do place this Bluetooth module on UART number one, your USB is actually sharing UART number one. So uh, you will have to have a way of disconnecting this device anytime you go into Betaflight or CleanFlight, INAV, whatever. Uh, you can't have this plugged into UART number one and go into those programs at the same time because then the Bluetooth module and your computer will both be trying to talk to the uh, flight controller at the same time and it's just not going to work. Like I said, that's only if you don't see USB VCP. This is a virtual COM port flight controller that I'm using, so I can use UART number one and not have to disconnect it every time. And that is going to do it. Uh, the last thing you have to do is pair it to your phone, but I will actually cover that in the next video. So thanks for watching. Give me a like if this helped you out, and I will see you in the next video.